guys welcome back to my channel my name is jackie or jack's place of sims and i just wanted to start off by saying thank you so much for all the love you've shown me and my channel these last couple of weeks i wasn't expecting it and i'm just so so thankful so thank you for being here i really appreciate you as you saw in the title today's video is going to be all of my favorite mods that i use for self-care whether it's a self-care day in a self-care day out whether my sim spends it on her own or with her friends these are all of the mods that i think fill my sims cup so i hope you enjoy and that you find a mod to add to your game for the first set of self-care mods, I'm going to be sharing the ones that have everything to do with beauty. The very first one is the Self Manicure and Pedicure by Setsid Creation. This mod allows your sims to give themselves a manicure and pedicure from the comfort of their own home. All they have to do is purchase this nail polish that you see here from Build By Mode. Then you can click on it and you'll see you have the option to do a home manicure or a home pedicure. This mod does require spa day, so it works just the same as if you were going to the nail salon to get a manicure, except the animations are a bit different. So as you can tell, you get that little pop-up that happens when you go to the nail salon and request a manicure. The only difference is the animation. She's sitting on the floor and giving herself a little manicure. The same occurs when you give your sim a pedicure. So you'll have to choose what color you want and then they're gonna find a chair to sit down on and give themselves a pedicure. The animation's really cute. The shoes automatically come off and you'll see that she's painting her little toes. It also comes with the buff that comes with spa day. So if you get a manicure and a pedicure, your sim starts to feel really happy. The next couple of mods I wanna show you are two different perfume mods. The first one is the perfumery mod by Simsonian Library. This mod adds the perfumery skill where your sims can learn how to make perfume. Or if you don't want your sim to learn how to make perfume, you can buy this perfume set and just click on it, purchase perfumes and scents. And it comes with 14 different scents that affects your Sim's mood. It's also really cool because if your Sim is wearing a specific scent and they go and talk to another Sim, that effect that it has on their mood affects the other Sim. I'm just gonna purchase the calming scent because that's how I want my Sim to feel on her self-care day. And you'll see that it shows up in her inventory. I purchased two. And all I have to do is press apply. And you'll notice that she's applying and spraying on that perfume. She's taking in that scent. And then she'll come out with a buff that says feeling calmer from smelling that scent. Calm is what we're trying to achieve on a self-care day. And I think this mod works perfectly to help achieve that. I also think that the perfumery skill it comes with is super neat. I think it's perfect for a girl's night in because you can have all of your sims come and make their own different perfume. So you just go to the stove and all you have to do is add some flowers in your sims inventory. Because it is a skill, they'll only be able to make certain scents at first. My sim's at level 1 and she only has daisies in her inventory so the only scent she can make is the playful scent. You'll notice she's adding flowers to the pot and once she's finished you'll see that she placed the perfume up here and she was able to create her own playful scent perfume. The next perfume mod functions a bit differently. These are the Functional Perfumes by ATS4. So they do give your sims moodlets depending on the type of perfume that it is. So as you can see, the Chanel perfume makes my sim feel fresh and flirty. And this one also makes my sim feel fresh and flirty. So let's have her apply some so you can see what that looks like. 
So as you can see, my Sim applies that perfume as a lotion. Um, it is one use only, but I like it because, again, it does give them that immediate mood lit and it functions as really cute luxury decor. So after applying that perfume, my Sim is feeling flirty from applying that flirty potion. I also like that it actually functions as a scent instead of a potion, but you can choose whichever one. And since we are in the bathroom, this brings me to my next mod. This is the Spade Face Mask from The Mirror by Ilex Sims. This mod, you don't need a mini fridge or a computer to purchase face masks. Instead, you can just click on your mirror, click order, and you'll be able to purchase any face mask you want. So I'm gonna purchase a couple. They'll show up in your inventory and then you can just apply it. Perfect, no need to buy that spa day mini fridge. This brings me to my next mod. This is the Functional Hairbrush by Jane Simston. This mod adds functional hairbrushes to the game. When your sim brushes their hair, they'll gain hygiene and they'll also gain some moodlets depending on how well they brush their hair. And your sim might stand up and brush their hair or they might find a seat and brush their hair. Once your sim is finished brushing their hair, you'll see either a positive or negative mood lit, like I said, depending on how well they brushed it. She did a good job, so she's feeling brushed and beautiful and feeling super confident after brushing her hair. Super simple mod, but super cute, again, for a self-care day because what we're trying to do on a self-care day is make her sim feel good. This brings me to my next mod. These are the Functional Personal Care Products by CC Galore. This mod not only adds functional products, but it adds a realistic way to shop for these self-care products that are for your body, skin, and hair. So all you have to do is go on the phone, go shopping, and you'll see the body care shop. Once the body care shop opens up, you'll see that you have six different stores to choose from. So for today, I'm going to choose the Avino shop. And let's choose the Stress Relief Lavender Wash. You'll get a notification that the item is in her inventory. Here it is. The only thing to remember is that these items can only be used in the shower or while you're taking a bath. So I'm gonna have her shower so you can see what that looks like. All right, so now she's taking a shower so I can go to her inventory and you'll see that now she's able to use it. After using the body wash in the shower, she has this buff where it says stress relief lavender. This body wash never fails to surprise her and neither does the smell of the body wash. It's boosting her flirty mood, but it's adding on to her happiness and it's making her again feel good and remember guys that is our goal to make her sims feel good all right so i'm gonna have my girl vivian get dressed and then i will see you at the salon for the next mod the next mod is a sheer brilliance active cosmetology mod this is a huge mod where your sim is able to work in person at the salon or they can take on gigs at home. All they need is the styling chair and you can give townies different makeovers. I'm not gonna go over the career aspect of the mod, but I will say it's really cool and you guys should check it out. But my favorite part about the mod is that now it adds salons to your game. So you can take your Sims to the salon and get a little makeover using this mod. So once you get to the salon, you'll notice that the employees are there and you can choose whichever employee you want and ask them either to apply makeup or for a new hairstyle. So I'm going to ask for a hairstyle and it actually costs 80 simoleons, which I really like because again, we're adding realism to the game instead of just going in to create a sim and giving our sims a makeover. The act of taking them to the salon and paying for a makeover, paying for a new hairstyle adds a little bit of realism and makes it more fun. 
Before she asked him for a makeover, I did want to say this nail sim is actually created by one of my mutuals on Tumblr for Fala Sims. He has a bunch of beautiful sims on the gallery. So she asked him for a new hairstyle and now he is styling her hair. Let's see if we can trust him. <laughs> This is mid. So what it usually does is the hairstylist will go through about three rounds and then they'll kind of talk and see if the sim likes it. We did end up with the same hairstyle, but that's because I kind of wanted it to be that way. I could have cut it short. I didn't. I like her original hairstyle, but I just wanted to show you what it was like. I think it's a really, really cute mod that, again, adds realism to the game. You can take your sims to the salon. That's part of self-care, you know, you're making yourself feel good because when you look good, you feel good. All right, so the next group of mods are a couple of hobby activity type self-care mods. Alright, so the first mod is the Tattoo Rabbit Hole mod by Kawaii Stacy. So this mod allows your sims to get temporary or permanent tattoos or piercings. It comes with these two items here. There's a stand that says tattoo or just a little sign on top of the arch that says tattoo. In order to go into the rabbit hole and get the tattoo, you just click on whatever item that you place down and you'll see that you can get either temporary piercings or tattoos or permanent piercings or tattoos and with the temporary ones you don't get to choose what they get they just go into the rabbit hole and come out with something random and with the permanent ones you get to go into create a sim and choose exactly what your sim will get for today, she's going to get a permanent tattoo. So she disappeared into the rabbit hole and you can probably hear the tattoo gun working which I think is a really nice touch to this mod. Once it gets to the end of the tattoo appointment, if you choose a permanent one, you are able to go into create a sim and choose whatever tattoo you want to add to your sim. Alright, so I ended up going with a tattoo that says attract everything, chase nothing in Simlish. So this mod does come with buffs. She is feeling uncomfortable because getting a tattoo can be painful. I get it, but it's okay because everything we're doing to make her feel good will overpower how uncomfortable she feels. Again, I like this mod because it adds a more realistic way of getting tattoos it changes up gameplay instead of just going into create a sim and giving your sim a tattoo you can actually go to the tattoo shop and then choose which one you want to give them and actually pay for it so now that vivian's home i have a couple of other mods to fill your sims cup that are fun and hobby type self-care mods the first mod is the express delivery mod by qmbibi this mod just adds a realistic online shopping experience so all you have to do is go to the shopping app and you'll see this option for shopping apps so once that opens up you'll see that you can shop online from all of these different stores i had to pick my favorite mod this would be it just because i love shopping online and this functions just like that except the immediate gratification is instant so once your sim chooses what to order they should receive their delivery within two hours from their mail person so i'm gonna order a couple of books i'm also gonna order some items from sephora this mod is really cool because it brings new functional items to the game like face masks or candles i'm also gonna order some flowers because nothing says treat yourself like buying yourself a bouquet of flowers after you wait a while the mail person should arrive and they will leave the package at your door nothing says self-care like online shopping and getting packages in the mail all right so i love this mod because 
you get to have that experience with your sims you get to shop for them it's realistic you don't just buy things and build buy mode but instead you have that online shopping experience with them and it also brings in new functional items that you can use like i said before once you get all your packages you either get to put them in your inventory or just open them so i'm gonna have her open all of her packages so as you can see all of the books she ordered are in her inventory the different face masks that she ordered are in her inventory and the flowers are also in her inventory this brings me to my next mod so when she was online shopping i had her place an order at barnes and noble and she ordered these books these are romance books that maybe you've read in real life i know i have and this mod is called the real readable romance books by sim kira i love this mod because this mod brings in 50 different romance novels that your sims can read that maybe you've read in real life right these are real novels that we've read and now your sims get to read them as well look at her reading a real romance book i'm obsessed next mod that i wanted to show you is the ultimate movie override by midnight hearts so this mod does require movie hangout what this mod does is it replaces the movies that come with the game and instead shows you different two minute clips from movies that you've probably seen or heard of in real life so right now i have vivian watching legally blonde this mod does come with about 70 different movie clips that you can choose from but you can only add 10 to your game this is a really cool mod because this mod is perfect for a girl's night in or to end your self-care day because i love a movie and if there's one thing i'm gonna do at the end of the day is watch netflix so why not have my sims do the same thing so the next mod I wanted to show you is the Dance Override by Steven Studio. All this mod does is override the dancing animation that comes with the game. This override makes them look so much cooler while they're dancing. They look so hip, like maybe I would dance like this in real life. I don't know. I think it's so much cooler than the other one and this one's definitely a must have for me. Ever since I downloaded it, I have not taken it out. Look how cute she looks dancing. And for those of you who might say that dancing is not self-care, it definitely is to me. If there's one thing I love, it is having a dance party, whether it's by myself or with my friends. This just instantly boosts my mood, so my sims have their own dance parties too. Look at her. She's having the time of her life. Alright, so the next set of mods are a bunch of food mods that I think are the definition of self-care. So the very first one is S'more Options by Ravishing. So with this mod, you can basically make s'mores from home. You can either use the stove or a fireplace if there's one in your sim's home. All you have to do is purchase one of these items in build by mode. So you can click on them and either grab and go from the tray or roast them either using the fireplace or the stove. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the fireplace. So like you can see, Vivian here is roasting her marshmallows from the comfort of her own home. I love this mod because the s'mores are so cute and realistic and again your sim doesn't have to be camping or have a fire pit to make s'mores. The next mod is also by Ravishing. This is the adobable cupcake maker. This mod allows you to make cupcakes without having to buy that huge cupcake machine but instead it comes with this cute little frosting bag that is only one tile and allows you to make cupcakes. If you click on the frosting bag, you'll see the option to either bake pastries or cook cupcakes. And then you'll see all the cupcakes that your sim can make. I leveled her up recently, so let's make some butter scotchman cupcakes. I like this mod because each of the pans are also unique to each recipe, so not all of the pans are gonna look the same. Look how yummy those cupcakes look delicious 
All right, so the next mod is the Hot Chocolate Maker by Ice Mun Mun. This mod is perfect for those self-care nights that your sim has, especially in the winter when it's colder out. They can make themselves some hot chocolate from home. So you can either make a pot of hot chocolate, which makes about three servings, or just make your own sim their own hot chocolate. They have a few different options to choose from from the hot chocolate. It also comes with its own buff depending on which type of hot chocolate you make. That looks delicious. Can we just take a second to appreciate that? I wish I had that right now. All right, and this immediately changed her mood to playful. So from drinking this hot and delicious hot chocolate, she's feeling really playful. No self-care night is complete without ordering takeout. So the next mod I want to show you is Delivery Services by Little Bo Bub. This mod adds four different restaurants that you can get takeout from. So we have Granny's Bakery Delivery, Omarebi Cuisine, Hungry Plum Bob's Fast Food Delivery, and Tasty Shake. So I'm going to go through and show you all of the different options that you have to eat. So from Granny's Bakery, lots of dessert options. From Komarebi Cuisine, you have all of your different Asian fusion options. Hungry Plum Bob's fast food delivery is literally all fast food. So barbecue wings, pizza, burgers, anything you want. And Tasty Shakes is the last option. And from this one, you can just order a bunch of different milkshakes. As you can see, the food has arrived. So let's see what it looks like. Look how good this food looks. This is honestly one of my favorite mods because sometimes you just want to order takeout and this mod just adds variety to the takeout options, which I'm obsessed with. While she cleans up, I want to start showing you the next couple of mods. These are both drink mods from Somic and Severinka. The first one is the functional drinks tray. Um, this is base game compatible, but it's this tray right here and it allows you to choose from a variety of drink options, whether it's cocktails, eggnog, champagne, and you can use this tray to serve drinks. No bar necessary. All you have to do is click serve drinks and here are all your options. I think today we're going to do the glass of mulled wine. It sounds like a vibe. Look how cute that is. This would be perfect for like a Christmas party or a girl's night in during the holiday season. It's so, so cute. Look at that. The stars are out. She's drinking her mulled wine. Nothing says self-care like this. Depending on which drink your sim chooses to serve, it comes with different buffs, but right now she's feeling warm because mulled wine is a cold weather drink. And the last mod, also by Somic and Severinka, are the functional martini bottles, champagne bottles, etc. They have a lot of functional bottles that you can actually drink. This mod allows you to buy your choice of drink whether it's champagne, martini, wine, whatever you want. And it comes with eight different servings. So let's do martini. So once you buy the bottle, they'll just pull it out from the fridge and then they can grab a drink. While she's drinking, it will definitely increase her fun and any negative moodlets that she has will decrease. Again, this is another must-have mod for me because it allows my sims to drink whatever they want without having to actually own a bar or go to the bar. They can go to their fridge, buy a bottle, and enjoy it on a self-care night. All right, so now that my girl has had a day full of self-care, she is going to end her night. And I just wanted to say I hope you enjoyed the video and found a fun mod that you can add to your game to fill your sims cup. See you soon. Bye.